If you're anything like me, you don't plan ahead and you run out of coffee filters, but that's okay. Not having coffee, not okay. So we're gonna figure out how to make coffee without a filter. Basically any fabric that's meshy enough to let the water go through but keep most of the grounds on top works perfect. You could use a claw thing here, a paper towel, kitchen rag, anything you have lying around. Take our cloth, put it over our mug, use a rubber band or anything to secure that cloth onto the mug. Make sure there's enough of a dent to hold your grounds. Scoop said grounds onto your makeshift filter. If you're grinding your own coffee, make sure you go with a medium fine grind. Also, after you've boiled your water, try to let it sit for about 20 seconds to get to the ideal temperature, around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice temperature for coffee. All right, let's pour it over. Make sure you soak all of your grounds in the boiling water. Once you've fully saturated all the coffee grounds, they'll start to release carbon dioxide in a process called blooming. Let that go for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then continue pouring over the hot water until you have a full cup. This is a good test of patience. Real good coffee comes to those who wait. Once you have enough in there, you can remove your filter. Let's give it a try. Making your coffee doesn't have to be that difficult. And if you run out of filters, it's cool that you can use whatever else. Shirt, pants, socks, hat, kitchen towel, bathroom towel, whatever, really. <laughs> coffee filter's been going strong for over 100 years. Now there's more ways to filter your coffee. Hashtag no filter.